Hi guys, Cliff here. Welcome back to the channel and this is part two of my Slingsby Prefect Mark 1 Verin 30 inch glider build. Uh, this video is going to be the tissue covering. There's several ways, lots of ways actually, you can put on tissue covering. Uh, this is the way I shall be doing it today on this particular model. And the scale colour scheme is uh, silver with yellow bands, but I'm not going to do that changed my mind. I'm going to instead do it yellow with white tips and bits and bobs. I'm going to start with the fuselage and then the tail feathers and then the wings. So uh, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm going to be using um, this tissue. It's just lightweight tissue nothing special and I'm going to start the fuselage as I said. You can put tissue on wet which I will do actually of just a light spray very light spray having made the framework uh, glue and I'm going to just place it on. Now something to bear in mind is that wet tissue is very very delicate so you've got to be very gentle with it. And I thought to take this away because it's sort of the cloud in the issue, isn't it? You know what I mean? If you put it on damp, it goes around corners. If you've got any curves to go around, like there's a kind of a curve here because it goes two ways. But if it's damp, you can sort of pull it around a bit more. Also, that's quite damp, isn't it? Also it'll start to stretch out as soon as it's um, as soon as it starts to dry. It's quite wet that is. I think one puff would have been enough. There we go. So we'll put that to one side and we'll let that dry and then I can uh, start to trim it up a little bit. Um, colour scheme wise I'm going to do yellow wings with white tips so it'd be rather nice to pick up the same colour scheme on this. So I'm going to take that to there. Right. Okay, while the bits we've just done is drying, we can have a quick look at the fuselage and start trimming because the white glue with water in this temperature it goes off pretty quick. you find the tissue um, rip in while you cut it it's because your knife is blunt or you're trying to uh, rush it before it's gone off enough so don't do that okay any bits that uh, look like they could do is sticking down now's the time to do it So there's there's, there's um, several ways of tissuing, um, but you just find the way that works for you, and uh, don't be afraid to experiment. And if it all goes pear shaped, then you just pull it all off and stick another bit on. Right, that's looking rather tidy, isn't it? Maybe a little bit down there, just being a bit of a fussy, but. A bit there. The thing about using this glue as well is that the it being PVA or white glue, it's not PVA, being white glue, it fills any little um any little imperfections in the joints as well, which is a pretty good thing really. You don't have to spray it if you don't want to, but it does go around corners, curves a little bit easier. So you're looking to put it on reasonably wrinkle free. Right, 
remember at this stage with it being damp it is very delicate so it's best just to put it on like this and then just leave it stop playing with it the more you play with it the more chance you have of actually tearing it so I'm just going to leave that and we'll come back to it very soon Oops, it's tearing there. That, oops, that was good. I think I saved it. Just okay. So that's that side covered. Okay. So I think the next job is to put some push rods in and let them hang out over the back. That's one in. We'll cut it off to uh, what's C. Um, let's see, this is the rudder. The rudder's back there somewhere, so I'm going to have to cut it off back here somewhere. Like that. Bend the other one, which is only just long enough actually. Okay, we'll let that go off a little bit. So there we are guys, that's the fuselage, oh nearly covered, just the nose cone to do. Um, not too bad, push rods are in. Trying to line it up with the bit of blue underneath, there we go, and vertically. There we go. Probably trim that off a little bit actually uh, because it's going over onto the flat of the top bit. So I thought I might go right over the front there to act as a um, anti reflective surface. So I'll just let that dry a little bit, then I'll just trim that off. Well, that's the effect I was looking for. So I can probably dope that fuselage now and see how it comes out. Just dropped in a rather crude instrument panel, but everything's crude, isn't it? So um, just gives it a little bit of um, realism, doesn't it? There we go. Okay, let's make a start on the wing. We're going to Squeeze in a good supply of white glue. Then we're going to squeeze in, well not squeeze in, spray in some water. Yeah, it's probably, I don't know, 50-50, maybe more, maybe less. Using my little brush here. I'm just going to run some white glue down the frame. I'm going to spray this very quickly. Just enough to make it a little bit moist. And then, actually I wonder if I could, no, let's just drop it on. It shouldn't be far out. There we go. There we go. Pull this tight. If it's if the tissue is very lightly dampened, moistened, it uh, it helps to soak into the soak the glue up into the tissue a little bit and because there's the glue is so very thin, it does the trick. So there we are. That's one done. When that's dry, I'll trim the edges up, even when it's not totally dry, but I'll trim the edges up 
and uh, we'll put the top surface on. So I'll put that to one side a moment and do the other one. And then I'll be right back to you, right back. There we go. So that's the second one done. I'm going to go back to the first one, see if we can trim it. Put it that way up. See, it's, it's warping a little bit, but that's okay, because when I put the top on, I'll weigh it down. Um, this side can be trimmed flush, but I still have to remove some tissue from underneath. This side I'm going to cut to about a sixteenth of an inch. That will leave me enough to wrap around the trailing edge. I wonder if it's worth sticking it to the main spar. I think it might be. Stop it moving about. Okay. Give that a little tug lengthwise. Just gently sort of manoeuvring it into position. Okay, that's that end tidied up. So now that I can put my white tissue on the wing tip. So there we are. It's weighed down and we'll let that dry and come back to it later. It's propped off off the table with the sellotape covered bit strips of balsa wood. I just like to do that so as the air can blow under it if necessary, just to stop it also stop it touching the table. And if I should move the wing, it would tear the tissue. So it's clear and damp, but that in theory should dry and tighten out quite nicely. And then we can put the finish on it. So I've got a mixture of about 50, 50 dope thinners and I'm just going to dope the bottom of this and I've got to tell you where well, I've got the door open the smell is fantastic. I'm going to now lay it on my balsa wood and sellotape covered sticks and weigh it down. It should stretch out quite rapidly and evaporate quite rapidly I hope. Now it's, it's touching there, hopefully it'll pull off before it dries. I don't know if it will or not. So let's get some weights on there and uh, see if it can't dry about too much in the way of twists and warps. Okay, that's one wing done. Right, get some weights on that and uh, hopefully it's going to stretch out a little bit better and obviously stay flat. some little stripes on the wings last night. Okay, elevator hinged, rudder hinged, centre line drawn. Right, while that's drying and I've been watching videos on remote ID, I've made a little platform out of uh, this thin ply. I'll put a little kink in the middle of it. I've sanded this a little bit. That's going to glue on there. And I've put a small kink in it for dihedral, as I just probably said. So, yeah, and the wing comes out over the front of the cockpit, so that's good. So I've got even more support than I would have had before. And then I can glue the wings together and glue them straight onto the platform, which is nice and flat. I think I'll use white glue for that and maybe just a little a little blob of CA here and there just to hold it while it dries. 
it does grow a grip pretty quickly this white glue so that's one good bonus about it okay let's just put that on there like that See, it's gripping already it's really good that's the platform on so now the wing will sit on there and give it a nice solid fitting talking of the wings I've glue I've sanded the roots a little bit just gently so oops <laughs> so now that go on there and butt up pretty good. I guess there's nothing to stop me now actually just gluing those together. They can be set in as well. Reasonable dollop, especially on the ends, which is end grain. And that can then um, soak into the other half. I'll leave a bit of a dollop there. Dollop, what a lovely word. Okay, that's interesting. It's squeezing out before and aft. Not quite in the centre, but that's probably better than it is before and aft because that's where the leading the trailing edges are. That's the wings gluing, the tail glued on. I should be able to glue the wings to the um, I should be able to glue the wings to the fuselage pretty soon. And then I should be able to glue the glue the uh, make and glue in the struts there's no point in um, doing anything to the bottom of this so I've got center line there so I shall hold that on and center line there on the back okay there we are we'll put that to one side that's looking pretty square to my eye uh, we'll put that to one side to dry and come back to it later. So I've just made a couple of struts out of coffee stirrers, covered them in tissue, and now I'm going to drop them in place. Go in there and then just sit on the side of the fuselage up there. Just there like that. Put them under a very slight tension. Nothing too great, just enough to make it functional. Let's do this one. There we go guys, looking very smart. Had to add uh, 10 grams of lead in the nose. Uh, but um, yeah, she's all ready to go. Hit the old uh, subscribe button. If you want to see the maiden flight it's going to be on the tow line but obviously i'm going to give it a couple of test glides first so thanks for watching and see you in the maiden video cheers okay then guys here we are at the traditional testing grounds there's a little bit of breeze coming but i'm just going to give it a low test glide and hopefully it'll just glide smoothly to the ground here we go first launch okay it glides smoothly to the ground. Let's do that again. A little bit more confidence this time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, yes. Okay, so it's just going to the right there a little bit. But uh, it flies. So it's be interesting to see how it performs um, on the tow line, I guess. Okay, seems reasonable, doesn't it? Ooh. Okay, I think that's quite successful, really. 
Um, I think it needs a pilot. I might make up a little pilot to sit in there. I've got a bit of right rudder on it. I think that might have come in from... Well, well that's good, isn't it? Perhaps I've knocked it in, but either way... That would explain why it's going to the right, perhaps. I had to put 10 grams of lead in the nose, which is stuck up there, so I hope I don't need to take it out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. My Slingsby Prefect Mark 1. And uh, I was thinking I might make a, um, a couple of toe fingers for it to sit on, so just pull it up at the right angle. A couple of uh, sort of envisaging, you know, a couple of bits of wood. Just so it's just to sit it at the right angle to go straight up. Might go in and make that in a minute. Also have to cut the grass. <laughs> Yes, nice. The meadow. Thanks for watching guys. Hit the uh, little subscribe button if you want to see the maiden flight attempts and uh, thanks for watching this one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.